I invite the shop. what's up welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here welcome if you're not new welcome back thank you for watching another one of my videos and please if you're not subscribed please do consider subscribing mostly if this is not the first time that you're seeing my video and you are not subscribed i'll really appreciate that subscription it changes a lot for me i've never really vlogged outside i don't know if i look too bright i don't know i really hope not but yeah, welcome to a brand new vlog, welcome to a brand new week. Today is the 1st of November, so it's the 1st of the month. <laughs> it's the 1st of November, and ah, guys, I'm, I don't even know how I got the courage to actually vlog because I'm so irritated. I spent the whole lot of yesterday and majority of this morning trying to upload one video one youtube video to a point where i actually uploaded it i even got to the stage of um oh, i got to the stage of even coming to put a thumbnail on the title just for an email to reach saying that i had copyright claims on it even when i was downloading the music it said copyright free which was just so freaking annoying so i had to delete it after it took me so many hours so much data went to waste but it's fine um I also realized though whilst I was re-editing it is I have been on YouTube for almost six years now. Yeah, six years, pushing seven years. That's quite a long time, but I've been on YouTube for such a long time on and off. And the main reason why I feel like I haven't been consistent on YouTube is because I didn't know the type of content that I was supposed to be creating. I didn't think that I had anything of value to say. I just always assumed that every bit of information that I have, someone else has already said it in a whole other video. So why would somebody else come and listen to that from me? But I've since changed my perspective and I enjoy YouTube a lot more. I don't overthink it. I don't have to think of the perfect background. I don't have to think of the makeup, the lighting, of obviously the lighting because that's part of quality. But, you know, I don't overthink it the way that I used to in the past. And of recent, like in the past month, I have thoroughly enjoyed being a YouTuber all over again. It's like when I just started because... I realize what's important to me and I realize that I do actually have things that are of value to say and whether somebody has heard them somewhere else or not, I'm pretty sure that there's some people out there who want to listen to it from my perspective. So why not? So that's why like back then the videos that are a lot more consuming for YouTube are vlog style videos. Guys, vlogs are so hectic not only to film but also to edit putting it together to tell a story it's literally like you make a freaking movie because that's what it is you're making a movie you want to keep people engaged up until the end and it is so hard and so stressful even just recording and if you're a person like me i barely leave the house you guys like i'm almost always home and if i'm a person like that i don't really have much to vlog you know what i'm saying because i'm just home all the time and at some point that's not going to be engaging if i'm just home recording so now that I've figured out the type of content that works, that works for me, I'm still going to do vlogs. What I was editing was a vlog. I just remembered how stressful vlogs were and how impossible it was for me to create those every single week. For other people, yeah, it's practical. But for me, I just, I don't have any, I can't do it. Anyways, my primary reason for me sitting outside is I was having breakfast outside. I rarely, again, go outside. I'm such a homebody child. But I was just coming out for some fresh air whilst I was editing that video because I was feeling stuffed in the house. And then I told myself that when I was done with the video, I would read this book. Oh yeah, the video is done. Saving, now we have to upload, which takes forever as well. But it's, it's fine. It'll go up. So I upload it on YouTube now. But why I was outside was because I was having my breakfast while finishing the video. Then I told myself that I would read this book. 
it's called um the habits it's just not the habits of a godly woman by joyce miller and my friend kathy got me this as a gift in the same vlog that i'm uploading this was a present that kathy got me and oh my god i love it so much i actually love my friends and i love the little community i have now because each of them got me a gift that they know i would love and most of it wasn't even like materialistic like all oh, this if it's something materialistic then it's something that they know for sure that if i was in the store i would go and i would pick that up and having people who actually know you to that point like they actually pay attention to you they don't just get things because they think it's cute or they think it's glamorous like they pay attention to your needs and what you want and i was having a conversation with my friend she told me what she was getting me for my birthday before my birthday which i'm glad she did and she got me a Bible and this notebook over here. And her reasoning was because she was trying to think of who I am now and what I need. And she has noticed that I'm no longer tied to materialistic things. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm tearing up. Like I'm no longer tied to materialistic things the way I used to be in the past. And I always knew that in my heart, I felt the change in myself, but just knowing that that change reflects to even my friends, like they pay attention to me enough to even notice that without me saying anything that is crazy to me that makes me so happy and it makes me feel so loved but the main essence of me doing this was because this is a journal right it's a journal and i have been saying how i want to start journaling and i've realized that there are a lot of people out there who are like me who don't necessarily know how to journal or where to start or what to get there all these journals gratitude journal this journal what journal wedding journal this 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 and i get it they're all nice but when it comes to journaling the best thing you can do for yourself is don't think about it my battery is so low and yeah, my battery is about to go off but i will just advise you to say don't overthink about it if you don't have a book that's fine grab a paper grab a pen and detox your mind everything that you have in your head just write whether the spellings are right whether it's aesthetically pleasing whether it's whatever literally dump everything set a timer for 10 minutes and just use that 10 minutes to write consistently write 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 and when you're done read and reorganize your emotions that's what helps me know what's more important that's what helps me know when i'm overthinking things that helps me out so much and i know it's gonna help you a whole lot but anyway, that's my tip to you. I'm going to head over to now read my book and journal when I'm done. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Hey guys, welcome to day two of this vlog. Say hi to Princess. Hi guys, welcome to day two of this vlog. <laughs> I'm going to do some NOLA content. Let's be walking. There's an activation somewhere at the mall. So right now we need to look for where exactly the stand is. So let me see you inside. It's a little crowded in here. Oh. Hey guys, we're locked in, we're back, and we're back. It's not we're a bag, bag. we're, we're back. back. The two of us. <laughs> yeah, 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 my best thing. How to start shooting in my Nola shirt. Cute. Hi guys. Hey, what's There's this no black mark on my nose? That's it. Where? Here. Oh, I, I can't deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> Have I been walking around with a wannabe nose ring? Uh -uh. I might have not that day with that time I forgot the price when I came here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Oh. Guys, anyways, I finished off at Mandai Hill and um, Princess convinced us to go and have a dish in Shima at Portrait. <laughs> so we're just about to get some food. She said that you want to eat the same cocktail. That's what we're about to do. They drink, they eat shima and they drink a cocktail. It's already that kind of thing, shima. How bad that was. Um, Be fucking for real. Anyways, let me order food for it. Hey y'all. So, 
I got back from having lunch a little while ago but I was unboxing this inventory that was brought here <gasps> can you see this mess down here I've done a whole YouTube video unboxing everything that I got so you guys can go and check it out but yeah that is pretty much it I need to now start sorting out these things and making sure that everything is here nothing is missing so that's all I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day see you guys tomorrow hey guys happy sunday so i'm just chilling literally living my best life i'm watching kms whilst i'm about to do my nails look i cut them because i'm filing them off i'm adding um these nails that i had ordered from my stock i have this peel on my face so i was just massaging the product into this into my face with this gouache stone i already have a gouache stone from the last consignment i made sure i got some for myself then earlier I was just reading this book, just a chapter, I'm trying not to read it too fast because I really really like it and yeah, that's for my Sunday. Hey guys, hey guys, what is up, I hope everybody is doing okay, you know what, let me just park and talk to you nicely. Okay guys. Yeah, it is hot in here. How's everyone? I haven't vlogged in a while, like some time has passed and you see. No, no, not some time, just a few days. I told myself that I'll just be vlogging whenever I can and not put myself on unrealistic timelines of when I can and cannot vlog. Like once upon a time on this channel, I used to do weekly vlogs and it works for certain people but personally it doesn't work for me right like mostly like right now because lately i've been saying this all the time like i don't go anywhere i don't do much and that's one of the reasons why i wasn't consistent because i just don't have that much to show to make enough for a weekly vlog and honestly it's like quality over quantity sometimes i would find myself vlogging a whole bunch of unnecessary stuff just for the purpose of having a vlog so that i could be consistent when honestly i was just punishing myself and low-key punishing you guys because not that the content was bad but i could have done better whilst we're also on that conversation about content today i had to today saturday i sat i dedicated um videos like posting videos on wednesdays and on sunday and i just this whole week i just haven't been in the mood to do anything including filming which nowadays is really easy because all i have to do is just get in the car and film or just like sit somewhere and just like really talk because i'm no longer overthinking my content um of course it's going to be valuable yes but i'm not like overthinking it the way that i used to because like dreams get killed during the planning stage and i'll just wait keep on waiting for the perfect this the perfect this the perfect this i have to be ready i have to make sure i have powerpoints i have to make sure i have this i have to make sure i say this like this nowadays i just let whatever come out of my mouth flow and it's so simple but so valuable and i am enjoying it and i can tell that majority of my audience is enjoying it as well so that makes me happy anyways i almost never filmed because i just wasn't in the mood genuinely like this whole entire week i was like oh, i know saturday's already here i almost even today i almost told myself like okay i'll just film like <laughs> on sunday <laughs> itself like i was going to film edit and upload which is realistic but i was going to do things in a rush as compared to at least i have filmed all i just have to do is edit and there's not much editing needed in sit down videos at least the way i do them so or we shall be okay we'll have a video tomorrow and i also just forced myself to do it because back then when i wasn't in the mood i wouldn't film but i told myself that i'm going to be consistent this year and i plan on sticking to my word so that's exactly what i'm gonna do i am managing so many accounts sometimes i forget what's what but yeah that's pretty much all i'm going to do today for today um every finally tiktok has bullied me into watching this new tyler perry series so i deleted netflix because i just wasn't really using it for much good but i've just been kind of low lately and usually i would um use work to feel better 
but currently a lot of the stock that i bought for a lot of my businesses has been delayed i actually will not receive my stock until maybe like late december or early january which sucks because i ordered majority like i started ordering like literally two months ago which is so silly so even if i say like okay let me go to work there's not much for me to do because i don't have much to sell like i don't have much stock available for me to even take myself i'll just be just sitting at the shop doing nothing which i feel like is just going to make me feel worse so whilst i'm waiting in this period i feel like okay maybe i can i can do with a little netflix to just help get my mind off of this funk that i have been in because of the same but it's fine i decided that i'm no longer going to worry about anything and every single problem every single challenge that i face i'm going to give it to god you guys i'm from the grocery shop and there's ice cream in my car it's going to melt it's hot outside so see you hi, hi. i was also just saying hello to the vlog you know what's crazy mm. is that i was almost wearing tight serious i couldn't see it any other way i'm just Why, watching my black shirt, shirt. Uh, Hey. Boy, I'm so in, like, straight. <laughs> this is how people should sit in class. You should be straight to the point. Your hair looks cute. You guys, princess cut her hair. As I should. Uh, our friends with the heads Wait, that can here, facilitate a haircut. Okay, let me it let me turn it. Look at her hair, you guys. Okay. Doesn't it suit her head? Don't buy for Bambi. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm vlogging on my phone. I hope that quality is okay. Because I'm having my, I've come to have my teeth removed because I have been down this whole week. That's why I didn't upload a video on Wednesday. I didn't upload a video on today, Sunday either because I couldn't film because I couldn't talk. Up until yesterday, I couldn't even turn my neck this way. Up to now, it still kind of hurts. But right now, I'm jacked up on pain pills. So that's how come I was even able to move and talk. I have been in pain all week, literally paralyzed. Like I've been sitting like having to cover a blanket to my neck just for my neck to stop hurting. It was really horrible. But I consulted a dentist yesterday and they put me on painkillers which made me even be able to even look healthy. But I've been down all week. When I tell you all week, I mean all week. So I just came out of the get it removed actually i hope i'll heal by wednesday because i'm supposed to have an interview by wednesday so i hope i'll be better by then but yeah wish me luck Which one has reduced to once a day? Sorry? The decoconut pain kill. Okay. Yeah, so the decoconut has reduced to two tablets, two, uh, two tablets at once to one single tablet but twice in a day. So you take one in the morning and one in the night. Okay. Yeah. Right. Hey guys, what's up? So I hope everybody is okay. I hope everybody is doing well. You guys, yesterday, as you guys saw, I just hope this camera is not. As you guys saw, I had gone to get my tooth extracted. And all I can say is just get your teeth fixed. Don't wait until it's like bad and you have aches for you to like fix your tooth. You guys, I was in so much pain. So what ended up happening was I was in pain prior. I was trying to tell you that I couldn't even turn my neck. Like this, it was this side, the one on top, don't know what it's called my head like this whole side of my head the back here and my neck and my shoulder were in so much pain when i tell you guys they were in so much pain they were in so much pain i couldn't look this way i couldn't even drive and my head felt so heavy so we called the dentist like the day before we went that was saturday then he gave me like a whole bunch of medicine which i have which i had to take which made me feel better it started to wear off when I was at the dentist like the next day because I remember waking up feeling perfectly fine then it started to wear off whilst I was still at the dentist so they put that whole numbing situation and the tooth extraction itself was fine like it was fine to a point where I even like went to the shops to like go get food 
and the like right guys tell me why it started to wear off when i was in um when i was in pick and pay trying to get something to eat i was in so much pain i just said okay you know what no i have to stop quickly rushed back home and that's when the pain was the most horrible pain i have ever experienced when i tell you guys that i've never experienced that much pain i was shaking i was sweating I was like literally my whole body was shaking, but I was so cold. I had to like hug a water bottle and cover blankets, but I'm literally dripping in sweat. My head was pounding when the numbing cream wore off. It's almost as if I could feel everything that was being done when the numbing cream was on. I was in so much pain and I was just waiting for the painkillers to kick in and it wasn't happening. Like I was in pain to a point where even when I tried to doze off, I was like crying in my sleep like I could feel myself be in pain in my sleep it was so horrible and the dentist had actually told me that another one of my teeth he said is actually not in good condition I don't plan on waiting until it gets bad for me to go get it taken out so I'm going to go get it taken out and then uh, my front tooth here I actually had it filled I had a cavity that was like taking away at my tooth so I literally had like a mini gap it was black here but apparently the dentist who did it, if you really zoom in, you can actually tell that the part that was starting to be infected wasn't fully removed. So there's discoloration. So after we do the ones that remove the teeth that are not suiting in my mouth, the next thing that we're going to do is now the aesthetic side, which is having my teeth whitened and also now start to get quotations of um, having an artificial tooth put because i was told that if you remove too many of your teeth they start to like disperse and you have weird spaces in between your teeth and i just don't have time for that so i have to put an artificial tooth so after removing this one it's whitening i mean cleaning up whitening and also fixing up this cavity they'll have to take it out i don't know he said like a whole bunch of things but whatever he says i'm gonna do i'm never going to allow myself to experience that amount of pain i was this close this close to going back to the hospital but i knew i would be fine it's just that in the moment it hurt so much but anyways it's a different day today i'm having this is what time is it it's quite late it's literally 2 p.m but this is when i'm having my first meal of the day i just cut up some watermelon and um some mango i was also responding to like work texts and work emails yeah that's what i was trying to do did that Shit. i did that and now i am about to have a class so the class i'm about to have right now is for someone to teach me how to order things from china so Mm, I already order stuff from China, obviously, for my business, right? But I have a friend who's there who kind of helps me order. But lately, I've just been feeling like I think it's time for me to learn how to just do everything myself. It's time for me to just learn how to do everything myself because you find certain situations maybe he's there for school so maybe sometimes he's like busy with school or maybe other people are ordering through him and the like and sometimes it also costs me in terms of time and then sometimes it's like because you have to pay so sometimes like maybe if i just want like one little personal thing for myself and i have to pay for it extra and it's just um it's not practical I also have another meeting that I have to discuss with my management. That I have to discuss with my management. Ah, they've just sent me an email and I just don't know how to fill up it. Anyways, guys, let me just do this class. If I'm going to check up with you guys later, I will. But I'm not doing anything aside from that today. So... I don't know we'll see i do have a little bit of a busy week this week not really that it's a busy week <laughs> it's just like compared to the nothing i've been doing lately i have like a radio interview i have sh content to shoot mm, yeah 
hey guys what's up i hope everybody is doing good i am so tired i am by the shop i got here a long time ago uh, i was taking pictures of the stock that um i received the dresses because i want to post them as soon as possible i want to post them as soon as possible but eh, it took literally almost the whole day but not the whole day i'm being dramatic like it okay but it did take a lot of time like all morning to shoot said content but um i'm happy with it so i just need to now go home and edit it so that i make sure that everything is perfect but before i go just help me start taking my stuff to the car is there maybe one plastic so you don't have to make too many trips Hey guys, just wanted to pop in and say hi. I'm heading to a radio interview, but I don't know what's wrong with my time management skills these days. I'm always late. So now I gotta go. I hate being late. And anyways, I was saying, I feel like nowadays I'm always late for everything. And I hate that so much because I always used to be the girl that was on time. Now I just have a lot going on and now I just even like feel stupid the way I look because I was just doing things <sighs> so rushed and I don't like it when I don't feel confident. I just need to take a breath. I'm hoping that by the time I get there, whether I'm late or whatever, I can just um, <sighs> finesse the situation. Or it's something that I need to pick back up on. That was my favorite thing about myself. I was never late, ever. Like, if I was late, then it was with good reason. But nowadays, I just don't know what's wrong with me. But anyways, I'm going to go there and try my best to be as excited as possible. And technically, I can still make it for the interview itself. It's just that I was supposed to be there 30 minutes before. That's the issue. But it's fine. I'll still finish the interview. It's okay. See ya. Hey guys, I don't know if I can talk in here because they're on air, but I got here not too long ago. I got here before too, which is great, um, and I'm just waiting for us to go on because somebody is still recording something. I'm just glad I got here on time. I hate being late. It, it makes me feel so irresponsible when I'm late. I'll try to see if I can vlog inside. See, I didn't carry my camera because I was in such a rush. But we'll see. You are still tuned into Ladies Lounge, and today our topic is women in entrepreneurship and content creation. Now, we told you we have a very special guest today. She is actually our woman crush. Yeah, well, of the week. I don't think she knew this because we did not tell her. <laughs> so please, ladies and gentlemen, listeners, please help us welcome Emma Kamau. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Welcome to Ladies Lounge. We are so excited to have you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy to be here. First of all, you are very beautiful. Oh, really? Yeah, it is. So we are not going to die. <laughs> we are not going to hide. You look amazing and you're so, so beautiful. Thank you so much. So, knowing that the topic is women in content creation and entrepreneurship, we know you are a content creator and an entrepreneur. So, I think our first question is, how did you even start yeah. every single yeah. thing? <laughs> Well, for the content creation side, it started when I was at university. Mm. My friend in my first year had a YouTube channel and she was going around all over campus saying, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel. I was like, oh my God, I could never. <laughs> <laughs> and then she literally had to beg me for about a year to start a YouTube channel because she believed that I had a good personality or like an engaging personality. Mm. So after one year of trying to get me to do it, I finally did it. And I remember my first video did so well. And people kept on asking, when are you going to post the next one and the next one? And I was like, okay, fine, I'll continue. But I didn't want to do it for a long time. Yeah. Have you ever um, received backlash or criticism yeah. on social media? No, 
I don't think I have. If I have, maybe it's just somebody didn't like my outfit. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I haven't received criticism or backlash. And I think it's because I'm very particular about what I say. Mm -hmm. I try to be particular on what I can give my opinion to. Not everything deserves my opinion. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's okay to just sit and watch and watch things play out and not involve yourself. I'm not I'm not a drama-based person. So mm -hmm. because of that, I, I think it's going to be a little bit difficult for somebody to try and like criticize yeah. me. Because yeah. what are you criticizing? Yeah. Exactly. I don't yeah. talk. <laughs> um, it's been difficult. Each thing has its own different challenges. I feel like with content creation, I think it's just time and also staying authentic and also knowing what to share and what not to share. Mm -hmm. I think that has been my biggest challenge when it came to the content side. When it comes to entrepreneurship, obviously the biggest challenge would be just business. It's just hard. So you need to be intelligent. You need to be smart. You need to know how to set yourself apart. You need to know how to just survive in the industry really mm -hmm. yeah when i don't for me i can't send someone to say go do an interview for me that's me but things on my business i can teach people i can get help so i reduce the amount of things i have to do by just delegating responsibilities to other people that way when i have things that i have to do that are specifically for content creation i'm able to i have, mm -hmm. the, I have the time yeah mm -hmm. and i also just choose what is that Mm -hmm. So what does it mean to you um, being a successful content creator and entrepreneur? Because personally, I know you cannot see it, but we are very inspired by you, especially, you know, the fact that we are always broke yeah. <laughs> in school, <laughs> you know, so, that, so many things are expensive. But like, what does it mean to you for yourself and for the young women watching? I mean, for me, I never see any of the accomplishments I get as my own. For me, I genuinely feel like it's a community thing. When I look at what I'm trying to achieve on my social media, my main goal is to make other Zambian girls in my life. But then, like, you don't fully comprehend that as a Zambian because you don't think it can happen for you. Mm -hmm. But then for me, I've seen it and I've seen that it's possible. That's why every single deal that I get, I make it a big deal. Like, I make it a big deal when I go on social media. One, because I'm grateful. But two, because I also want to other people to see, like, I'm fully Zambian. Mm -hmm. And I'm able to earn a living mm -hmm. off of doing something that I love, even if it's content creation. So, for me, it means a lot. And I do take it very seriously because, in my mind, it goes beyond me. Mm -hmm. In a few years from now, when content creation picks up, there are going to be a lot of people who are going to start to ask who paved the way for other people. And for me, my goal is to be one of those names that I mentioned in the comments. Oh. myself like is the next person going to be interested in what i'm saying mm -hmm. and that doesn't mean like only talk about everything must always be serious but even when you're just talking about light-hearted stuff let it be you don't mm -hmm. try to be like oh my god mommy tried to dress you up because i like so much yeah. <laughs> and it, you know like it, it just doesn't sound real i feel like with content creation the end goal is just be yourself and only put out content that you're proud of if you're mm. not proud of it don't put it out like there's no timeline there's no rush it's always quality over quantity that i always see it mm. then when it comes to entrepreneurship i think i'll say the same thing i feel like i've noticed with entrepreneurship a lot of us want to be like the next person mm. we open our phone and we see how this person advertises her hair or how this person advertises our clothes and i always say there's nothing wrong with drawing inspiration from other people but ultimately i feel like you should do things that are right for you. You should do things your own way because who knows, next thing people will be copying you and that's a badge of honor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We pray that you get everything good yeah. to come towards you because I think for us, we, we've been fans mm -hmm. for a while, you know, yeah. seeing your growth in business, how you have multiple businesses now from one to all these and how successful you are and how you are becoming more successful than you already are we just want to wish you all the best and mm -hmm. thank you so much for hanging out with the fourth estate <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much yeah. for having me we hope to see you again i hope so too so guys that was emma kamau a content creator
very good looks, very beautiful. Very oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Hi guys, so I've finished off at the radio interview. I haven't done an interview and I think maybe even close to a year. So I was a bit awkward and shy, but it was so nice. The girls were so nice to me, which was great. I've just come to grab some lunch by Onoma. Honestly, if you guys have been to Onoma, then you know that we come here for the starter. We come here for the bread. <laughs> I'm here for the bread. Everything else is just extra that I'll probably get a takeaway. So, yeah. Yeah, so it's such a good meeting it will potentially lead to amazing things and i'm excited but i wanted to dress like smart not really smart casual but you know just do a little something i always like to dress up for my meetings just because i feel like going out well dressed is just my thing first of all <laughs> and then also it also just shows respect to the people you're going to meet that you put in a certain amount of time and effort into looking presentable to meet with them so i just have to wear some lip gloss my lips are dry and my heels and then we go my lighting is horrible this side hey guys so i just finished off at the meeting that i you guys about i want you to say hi to everybody hold on i thought you were saying no hi <laughs> So we just finished up a very, very good meeting. From here, I just have a few more errands to run and then I will see you guys when I get home. I'm forcing Wengo to take pictures of me and he doesn't seem very happy about it. <laughs> but that doesn't seem like my problem right now. <laughs> okay, just go.